Hey good people, how you guys doing? I hope you're doing really 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 well today. So today um, I want to make a really short video and give you guys a little tip that has helped me out a lot actually. The video is about how to get rid of gnats, how to get rid of uh, those little, uh, little, little flies that they fly around. Yeah this uh, uh around your uh, uh ceilings uh, projects and uh, you might think that they are very like inoffensive like like very like little tiny flies that don't 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 do any harm oh believe me they freaking do but but uh there's a really easy way to control them organically actually yeah you don't need to put any any chemicals um to use any chemicals on your on your uh, ceilings to be able to get rid of them so so this is gonna be your best friend your best friend right here these are mosquito dunks uh you can find them in, on any uh any store walmart or any uh, hardware store actually too uh home depot whatever lows so it says each dunk kills mosquitoes larvae for 30 days and that's true but uh uh, I apply them like every like two three weeks because I don't want to risk it. Uh, I had experience with those little tiny flies and believe me, it hasn't been very pleasant. They have decimated my whole freaking uh, seedlings uh, projects um, uh, in uh, prior years. Like yes, because when I didn't know anything about those little things, I tried everything. I tried the vinegar. Uh, they said that you could leave a cup uh, full of a uh, um, half full of vinegar and water, a mix of vinegar and water, or even beer in it, and they get attracted. But uh, yeah, the adults uh, look for it because I think um, they are very uh, they are very attracted to the smell of beer and fermented stuff, right? So they fly into it, boom, yeah. Of course, they get drunk and die, I guess but they do yeah they do that but before they doing that they they gain your soil they get in your soil they lay down eggs they lay eggs in your soil a lot of them each one of them and those eggs are gonna release uh little larvae those little larvae which are gonna be like i don't know many 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 of them are gonna get through your soil and they're gonna feed off uh, the roots of your seedlings when in uh, and as you can imagine that's a not good that's not a good thing for your seedlings they need those very tender delicate roots to be able to uh to uh give strength to to the seedlings so to get rid of them all you need to do is to get these things out of the package and break down these dunks into pieces and crumble them crumble them just like this little tiny pieces if the the more you break it down the better the more you break it down the better you just make it rain on make it rain on your soil just like that mm -hmm. just like that on every and single one of them then you water it then you water it water it up water, um, water up plenty uh, so um so all the soil gets wet so i think what this has is some kind of bacteria or little some some kind of bacteria that actually uh kills the little larvae in it and they are totally they're totally harmless to humans don't worry about it totally harmless to pets don't worry about it they're not gonna hurt your pet they're not they're not gonna hurt you at all whatsoever and the best of all is totally organic organic for you uh for you to uh, to take care of your ceilings indoors yes guys uh, that has worked for me i just wanted to share that information with you and i hope it serves you as much as it has done to me you guys have a really blessed day i wish you the best and i'll see you guys in the next video